happy Friday. Let's go ahead and look at your job for today. So first things first, we have our assignments tab. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click over here. It is Friday, April 9th, 2021. Let's look at our jobs for today. So we can see really quickly, we have our A group. A group, the only Zoom you have is 1230 today. Um, and then you have optional office hours, 1.30 to 2.30. Cohort B, you're coming in person, so you guys are going to have office hours, 1.30 to 2.30, if you need assistance on any of your work. And then my C group, you guys have office hours as well, 1.30 to 2.30. In addition to daily Zoom, 12.30, um, and your Spanish Zoom this morning at 10.10. 10. Now, with that in mind, we have our jobs for today. We have our morning work. Again, we are doing spiral grammar review. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I saw some friends were saying that they were having some difficulty with this assignment. Please, please come to office hours or ask me questions. That's what I'm here for. Um, so if you're having a hard time, ugh, I can't remember pronouns. What are pronouns? Ask me and we can work on it together. All right. So you're going to go ahead. You are going to click and drag these circles to help fill in the circle. So, for example, number one, it says which of the following is a proper noun. If I think a toes is a proper noun, I'm going to click and drag the circle over the dot that they provided me. And I'm going to mark a. Perfect. Now, be please, please, please make sure that you are easily identifying which one you're trying to mark. If I kind of put it in between A and B, I'm not going to know which one you're trying to answer. Like, for example, I'm going to assume you mean B, and I'm going to grade you as if you put B. But if you put it right dead smack in the middle like that, I'm just going to mark it wrong. So please make sure you're putting it over the circle so I know which one you are referring to. All right, I know that there are five questions and ten dots. Please keep in mind for question number two, it's asking which sentence or sentences. So you might be selecting more than one. So keep that in mind for number two. Again, you're probably going to be selecting more than one. So you're going to need more dots for this guy. All right. After your morning work, you have your Friday journal. It is flashback. Friday. Today's journal prompts very um, interesting. I think it will be fun. You are going to go ahead. You are going to write about a time when something embarrassing happened to you. So we can see here, oh my gosh, the infamous food in your teeth while you're smiling. Oh, that's embarrassing. Or the falling in public and you're trying to pretend like it didn't happen. Um, those are all awesome cases of when you are, have been embarrassed potentially. Um, Another great example could be maybe a mom or aunt, uncle, dad, grandma, grandpa. Um, somebody embarrassed you. Maybe they were, you know, they screaming out the window um, at you when they drop you off at school. Something um, that you find maybe embarrassing. You're going to go ahead and write a five to six sentences about sentence frames and starters are provided on the right as always. Again, you do not have to use them, but they are there if you would like them. All right, then we have our uh, using pictures, metaphors job. And again, this is the same exact setup as yesterday. You have a new picture with different prompts, different paragraph. Um, please keep in mind, again, with metaphors, they are different than similes. Similes compare two things using like or as. Metaphors do not use like or as. They compare two things, but they do not use like or as. They say something is something. So is blah, 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 instead of as or like it. Okay. Then you have your map. We are talking about comparing fractions. Yesterday we talked about comparing fractions with the same denominator. Now we're going to talk about comparing fractions with the same numerator. So you can see here we have two and two on top, three and three on top, one and one. So our numerators are now going to be the same. It's going to be the same questions you did yesterday, just with different numbers um, for this activity. So please keep that in mind. It's the same thing that you did yesterday, just different numbers. 
and you can see I asked for you to wait until Zoom, my um, A and C groups, that way we can talk about same numerators and comparing those before you complete that job. All right, for language arts, we have Sleeping Beauty, as told by the fairies, the good and bad fairies. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to read this one for today. You're going to start off by putting your name. You're going to listen to the story. Again, there are um, captions available, so you, you'll be able to click on that. And then you're just going to go through and you're going to answer these questions. A lot of the questions we know um, from before. Please, please, please make sure you're paying attention to these questions here. How is the version of the story different from the one we read yesterday? So we read Sleeping Beauty yesterday. Um, so I would like for you to be really specific about how it is different. And then you're going to see this question here. Do you believe the fairy's version of the story? Yes or no? Explain your reasoning. You are going to listen to the fairy's point of view um, and her side of the story um, their side of the story and when they're telling their side of the story I want you to be thinking is this really what happened or is this you know is it not what happened and so you're going to go ahead and you're going to decide here there is no wrong answer I just want you to make sure you explain your reasoning telling me why you think that Alrighty, then we have our spelling. We are talking about glued sounds. And so for your job, you are going to go ahead. You're going to see here's this video. Um, it will show you exactly how to do it. You're just going to click on the video once it loads. Perfect. And so it's going to go ahead, it's going to show this, how you click and drag the clip to the spot. And so we're going to go ahead, we're going to move to number two. You have audio here, it will read the words to you. So the word is king. And so I'm listening to the word king, and I'm going to find the sound that matches it using the glued sounds. King, ing, ong, ung, ing. And I would take my clip, and I'm going to cover where it says ing. And that's my way of showing how I um, can hear the ending, the different ending. All right, so you're going to go through, and you're going to answer the remaining of these um, spellings and glue sound. All right. Then we have our typed weekly journal prompt. You are going to go ahead, you are going to type up, Thursday's journal prompt. So you are writing your thoughts about rules, five to six sentences. Again, please, please, please make sure five to six sentences. If you are telling me that you think rules are great, I need you to tell me why. If you think rules are not necessary, I need you to tell me why. Five to six sentences. Uh, make sure that you include a beginning sentence, concluding sentence, reasons why, um, all that good stuff. All right. Then you have SS Grin. Remember, you can see here it says try and reach episode 6 by Friday. If you are near episode 6, please, please, please try and get that done um, by today. If not, no worries. Um, just try your personal best to catch up as best as you can. And that is going to be it for our assignments today. Again, please remember that um, my A group, you have Zoom 1230, as well as my C group, you have our Zoom and Spanish at 1010. Um, and that is going to be it for our day today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, D1.